Welcome to Central Hudson's Wire Down Training. For the best training experience, maximize the window on your computer screen. When bad weather strikes the Hudson Valley, trees can bend or fall onto wires, causing the wires to hang low or break and fall to the ground. Protective devices installed on the electric distribution system usually stop the flow of electricity to downed wires. However, at times, conditions do not allow the devices to operate, resulting in the wires remaining energized even while they are on the ground. Central Hudson is committed to protecting the public from any danger due to downed wires. To prevent contact by persons or vehicles, we will first evaluate the wire down situation and then if needed, provide a wire guard to stand by the area and keep the public away. During storm events, a wire down coordinator will be established in all operating districts that have storm damage. These coordinators will obtain a list of wire down locations from Central Hudson's outage management system and will assign wire responders to evaluate each location. Locations that have the highest risks will be assigned first. For example, wires reported as arcing or sparking or down on a vehicle. When the responder arrives at the wire down location, he or she will determine if a wire guard is needed. Guards will then be assigned to those locations by the coordinator. Wire guards then stand by the wire down location keeping all people and vehicles away until a foreman or crew arrives and makes the location safe. As a wire guard, your responsibilities include having a vehicle gassed up and stocked with personal protective equipment, danger tape, cones, and flares, obtaining the location from a wire down coordinator or dispatcher, traveling to the location and calling the coordinator to check in, relieving the wire responder and guarding the location until a repair crew arrives and the coordinator releases you, contacting the coordinator for your next assignment. It is important to understand that once a responder or guard has arrived at a wire down location, he or she will not leave the area until the wire has been made safe by a foreman or line crew. Simply barricading the area is not sufficient. The wire must be cut down or grounded by a qualified crew. To maintain a safe environment for all personnel near a wire down location, several items are necessary for all those who respond. These items include red danger tape and cones, road flares, leather work gloves, safety glasses, hard hat, safety vest, and a rotating beacon light if available. When an energized wire comes into contact with the ground, the electrical current can pass through the ground. The voltage is strongest at the point where the ground contact is made and becomes weaker as it radiates out from the point of contact. This phenomenon is called ground gradient and is much like a series of concentric circles expanding outward. If you were to walk past the point of contact, current could pass into and up one leg and down and out the other. This is known as step potential. The flow of electricity through the body from one area of electric potential to another area of electric potential between your feet. Due to the possibility of step potential dangers, it is important for all personnel responding to areas where wires are down to observe these safety tips. First, when approaching the area where a wire is down, observe the area leading up to the downed wires, looking for other hazards such as other wires or trees that are broken and ready to fall. Park your vehicle on the opposite side of the road and at least one pole away from the hazard area. Remember, car tires do not protect you completely from wire down hazards due to the steel belt design. The best practice is to always maintain a distance of at least 30 feet between you and the wire in all directions. 
This is called the 30 foot circle of safety. It is always best to assume that any downed wire is live and energized. Even telephone and cable TV wires have the potential to carry current in certain situations. Do not touch trees with wires on them. Trees are conductors of electricity. Follow these guidelines when barricading wire down locations. Barricading may have been done already by a highway department, police, or fire personnel. If needed, add additional barricades to maintain proper distance from down lines. Use flares and traffic cones on one side of the damaged location. Park your vehicle and use cones or flares on the other side. When walking from one end of the barricade area to set up cones or relight flares, always remain alert to safe distances. Park your vehicle where people can see it. Be aware of blind curves and roadways with restricted sight distance where drivers may come upon the location with limited forewarning. Always be aware of traffic flow. Never turn your back to traffic. And if possible, close the road at an intersection so that cars don't have to turn around near the damage area. Notify the coordinator if you have to close a road. While at a wire down location, Communication with the coordinator is vital for safety as well as for effective restoration purposes. You may also come into contact with customers who might be looking for answers in the event of a major outage. Here are some key points for communicating with customers as well as the coordinator. When speaking with customers, avoid guessing at estimated times of restoration. Remind the customer that your job is public safety prior to the repair. You do not know when the crew is arriving to restore power. Recommend that the customer contact customer services or visit the Central Hudson website at www.centralhudson.com for more information. Finally, be ready to present your ID to a customer if required. Always remember to keep your company or contractor ID with you at all times. It is important to make contact with the coordinator every two hours. Be certain to have a cell phone charger. If you are in an area with poor cell phone reception, try sending a text if allowed by your company's cellular plan. Call for backup if you have to leave the scene for any reason or if you have any other health or safety concerns such as fatigue. In summary, please remember the following when you are called to perform your duties as a wire guard. Before anything else, your main priority is the safety of the public along with your own. Remember to create the 30-foot circle of safety around a down wire. This will best protect against step potential. Maintain consistent communication with the coordinator and call for assistance when necessary. When performing duties as a wire guard, you are helping us protect the public. Keep yourself safe too. Follow the safety rules outlined in this video and contact your training coordinator if you have any questions or concerns. This concludes the wire down training. Thank you for doing your part to help Central Hudson keep the public safe from electrical hazards.